So there's no one doing that one. <laughs> I we're ready to close this one out, Shay. But before we go, hey, I just thought we just made ourselves look foolish making all these yeah. bold predictions. Do you have any you'd like to share for the upcoming season? Maybe you need to think about it, but I think I've got one. And again, things can change, so maybe don't exactly hold us to this. Of course, if we're right, we're going to clip it and say, oh, man, we were we nailed it in January. I, I've, I think I've got a bold take. Do you have one for the upcoming season? I'll let you, I'll let you go first. Let me, let me think. I'm narrowing mine down here. Okay, how about this, Shane? And again, I don't – I'm done picking on the Aggies. I don't. I don't want to. Uh-huh. I'm trying to be positive. We just, you know, we kind of mocked them with that, with your selection there. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw them a little olive branch here, Shane. I don't have the date in front of me, but it doesn't matter when the game's played. Give me Texas A&M at home to beat Alabama. I'm calling it now. I really oh. do think the Aggies. Again, I'm. I'm trying to pump the brakes a little bit because they, you know, they. They don't want. All the all the hype these days. They want to come from uh, behind the scenes, so to speak. I th- yeah. I love this hire of Bobby Petrino. I love what that takes off of Jimbo's plate. I think just given his track record of play calling and coaching up quarterbacks, I think this is a match made in heaven. The most talent Bobby Petrino is ever going to get to work with here in College Station. Not sitting here saying A and M's going to win the West, win the, go to the college football playoff or anything like that. But they get up for Alabama more than any other game. It's in College mm-hmm. Station. Nearly beat them last year in Tuscaloosa. I think they get it done in College Station two times <laughs> in a row against Alabama. How about that? I love it, man. All right, I got you two hot takes, Mike. How about this? You ready? Two yes, hot sir. takes. Now, this is hot takes. Right. You can't stop the recording now and then take what I say and then say Shane predicted this. <laughs> I'm saying bold take right now, LSU – goes back to an SEC championship next year. <laughs> I think they got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. Obviously, uh, oh, Boutte going, you know, that was a, that was a, a, a sting. But yeah. I think they bounced back. I think, I think LSU is better next year on both sides of the ball. And another season of offseason with Kelly, I think that's a dangerous recipe. Uh, the West is going to be dicey. Mm-hmm. I think there's going to be a lot. I think – Similar, I think we may look at a one-loss, two-loss team getting in. I, I just think it's going to be very competitive. And uh, so my hot take is that LSU will be representing the West again. Now, my, on the east side, Mike, my Tennessee homers, they're going to love this one. Milton is going to be a Heisman candidate Ooh. when the first polls come out in November. <laughs> just uh, I know I know I know they're saying Shane you are an idiot you're an absolute <laughs> dumb dumb yes you're probably right but this is a hot take you said it on many shows Mike Heupel's offense is going to produce Heisman candidates just yep. by their numbers alone I think Milton gets it right I think a lot of people gave him a hard time last few seasons yep. um, he, he showed a little glimpse of it during that Clemson game and if he can hone in on it and, and get some chemistry he's got it he's got the job he can't lose the job it's on him mm-hmm. and if if he comes out here and produces I think with those numbers and the arm and the talent alone, I think Tennessee has another Heisman candidate. Doesn't, I'm not saying he's going to win it, but I say he will be in the at least the top six, top seven, uh, first of November. Yeah, we, I believe uh, I'm in a text thread with Cousin Shane. He's already betting people that Milton yeah. Heisman finalist out there. He's saying mm-hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> Not that's on what this show. is. He's not saying yeah. it on the show. He's saying no, it on the text no. thread. That's, but, uh, that's that's a hot take. That's a hot take. <laughs> and uh, uh, is there any others? I mean, because we're so bad at it. And we, we might as well. Is there any other teams you'd like to call out? Because, I mean, we've mentioned Texas A&M. We mentioned Alabama, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Any other programs that, that either alarms us in the good way or a bad way? Because, you know, a hot take can be a bad team, too. Right. Here here's one, Shane. I think this team maybe I'm just trying to I'm trying to soothe, you know, uh teams I I put down all season. Yeah. I think one of the biggest turnarounds in the SEC next season mm-hmm. is gonna be up there in Lexington, Kentucky. Now they got a hit on this quarterback that's in from NC State. Many people, Stephen Lassen, friend of the show, says he's the best 
quarterback in the transfer portal. They got him. They got yeah. Liam Cohen back. They've had they've had an excellent defense. They got Ray Davis. We loved him at Vanderbilt. Um, I think, and with the weapons they have to work with, if they can get the offensive line going, man, the sky's the limit for Kentucky. Now, <laughs> the problem for them, they're they're. <laughs> Problem with everybody in that division, they're they're in the division with Georgia. So, yeah, I mean, it would be a miracle to upend Georgia. So I'm not I'm not ready to go that far. But um, hell, Le- Liam Cohen's offense, you know, they they remember two years ago when Georgia on the defense, you just couldn't move the ball. They were one of the few that uh, you know found a way to do it. So I, I realize different players and everything, but I think Kentucky is in for a huge ba- bounce back season. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, lo- I love how this is breaking down. You're going to get into, uh, um, the, you know, just the free, I don't want to call it free agency, but the transfer portal. Right. You know, it, it's it's just watching it and, and just how these teams are going to be so different next year. It's, mm-hmm. it's, I love it. I can't wait. I cannot wait. To, to see where we where we messed up again because you know it's funny because probably a team we didn't mention is going to win the SEC championship next year. South Carolina is like, yeah, you just keep talking, you fat ass. You, know? <laughs> you just keep going, and we're going to win again. Or, or maybe it's the other Columbia. Who knows? Maybe Mizzou steps up with all that talent they got there at wide receiver. So I, I don't know. I, I just that's the beauty. I of- also have my eye on Auburn, Shane. I think Auburn can make a huge step. Again, it's tough because they obviously got to yeah. play Alabama and Georgia. I mean, right. it doesn't get any tougher than that. Uh, but I think they're going to be significantly better. You know, it'd probably take two or three years for them to, to actually be a contender to win the West, win the SEC. But, man, it's happening quicker. That's what we said about LSU, and they turned right yeah. around and they got it done. Yeah, I love it, man. And if Florida can get their GoFundMe page going down there, maybe they'll have a quarterback, you know? 